stuck in this one because I'm in my room by myself and um because it's easier to talk than to type it still means I have to subtitle everything though so what I've done today what I just came back from doing was I had to pick up two cameras and I figured I would show them and explain kind of like why I need them and why I'm taking the class in which I um, need the cameras. I have a couple things. I'm a film and media arts um, major at my school. And one of our requirements is to take principles of photography. Um, so I'm taking that this semester and um, we had to get a SLR camera, which is um, a more traditional camera. It uses film, uh, film rolls that I ordered and they should be arriving tomorrow. And I have to use a DSLR, which is a digital camera. Um, and I have a binder as well. Um, this binder is filled with all these blank negative sleeves that I can store my film in as well as photo sleeves if I want to store my printed out photos, which I think I do. So I have that for this class. Um, and then let's show off the cameras. Um, so I, I own the DSLR. It's my parents. They don't use it um, as much as we should. So they're like, hey, you need this for your class? And I was like, yes, I do. And they're like, great, we'll um, give it to you, your dad and you can meet him at his um, office, um, which is what I did today. I went up and met him at his office and ate lunch and picked up the DSLR as well as the binder. But this is the SLR. This is rented through my school and I get this for the entire semester, which is really cool. It means I don't have to pay however many dollars it is to own an SLR that I will probably never use again. Um, so I'm just gonna, it's a, it's a Canon. So here it is. Um, it's, let's see here. That, it opens up. There's no film or anything in it right now because I don't have film. That's tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, it's a camera. <laughs> um, I'm excited to mess around with it. I have to um, shoot two rolls, two, two rolls of film, my goodness, by Tuesday, which is when my class is again. So by next Tuesday. Um, so I'm gonna be carrying this around like everywhere with me. Um, and so I'll be doing that. Hopefully I'll record me taking pictures for the class. If I don't, it's because I can only do, like, I can only process so many things at once. But it comes in this cute little bag, um, which is really nice. It's, it's literally the same size as, um, as my purse right here. Like, compared to, like, last semester last semester i took film and video production one and i was using like really big heavy film cameras um i was using sony s fs5s which are like what you see people news crews use okay that those cameras like big clunky like cameras and i look at me i'm just i'm just a little guy okay i'm small so carrying one of those usually a big tripod as well or two of those I, I had to carry two ones um not great very heavy easily 30 pounds on together on my shoulders like 15 and 15 this is so much nicer so that's this one it's the slr and then the slr i have a little bit more to show um, we have a battery pack. We've oh, this is a another camera strap. Let's wrap that up. So right here is this is my SD reader for my SD cards, and this is a USB to USB C cord, which I don't need one of those, but you know the more the merrier. 
So let's open it up. If I can. There we go. Um, my parents somehow found lens cleaning paper. So I'm going to use that, especially for the uh, school provided camera because I have microfiber cloths, but I don't know how good those are for camera lenses. So we're going to use the lens paper up first before I touch the uh, microfiber. I believe actually in this front pocket before I take everything else. Oh, speaking of microfiber, there's one. So another lens cleaner and another. There they are. Um, I think I'll be set for the year, for the semester. SD cards, I, I am all set with SD cards. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six SD cards. There might be, an, an, nope, okay. I have six SD cards, that's more than enough. Um, SD cards. <laughs> So at least I don't have to worry about buying those. Okay. Um, so then, here is the camera. So it's a digital, there's no film needed. Um, I don't think I'll be using this one as much as the film camera because the film camera is, the film camera is, pri is the primary camera we're using to learn for the class. Um, but we do need a DSLR as well. And I need to ask my professor actually what lens she would like me to use. I have three lenses. I know I'm not gonna use this one. This is the telephoto lens. I don't think I'll need the telephoto lens at all. But I'll still tell her that I have it. If um, like I can use it for something, I guess I will. Um, and then this is like um, a, a standard lens. Um, it has, uh, 55 zoom millimeter zoom um, and the one on this cam uh, on the camera right now goes to 125 so it depends on what my professor wants me to use lens wise but I'll ask her when we get there same with the cap I don't know what to do with the cap so that's it <laughs> There's the camera tour. I will give a better tour tomorrow with the SLR um, when I have the film. The film is supposed to come tomorrow. But I figured it'd be fun to just like kind of chat because I don't talk a lot on my channel. Um, I, I don't like hearing myself and um, considering I have to, well, not have to. I like to and have to um, edit all of my videos. Um, I prefer, and, and I, you know, I subtitle because it's easier to understand. Um, but it, it was just, you know, it's, I don't like doing, I don't like talking. I prefer just doing the little subtitles of my thoughts, but I think this will be more beneficial to hear me say what I need the cameras for. Um, why I'm taking them, what exactly like I'm doing with them, and um, what they do. So there's that. Um, yep. Okay. <laughs> this segment's over. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what the section is, but it is. It's January eighteenth, twenty twenty-four. Um, Thursday. Uh, I just got off the phone with my mom because I had lunch, so I was chatting. Um, and I guess I just want to, um, talk about, like, my schedule, my class schedule. So today was my first in-person class. All my classes are in-person. It's just, um... On Tuesday, we were closed. The campus was closed due to snow. We had a snow day, so uh, as I mentioned before, my uh, in the video when that day happened, my classes uh, one of them got canceled. I have three classes on Tuesdays. One of them got canceled, and my other two were over Zoom. Um, and then Wednesday, I have um, a lab, which was canceled because we had the class on Zoom on Tuesday, 
And also, it's syllabus week. So I had a feeling lab was gonna be canceled and lab was canceled. Then I have classes yesterday. I have one class today. One class on Thursdays, um, 11.20 to 12.35. Um, I'm gonna talk about that class because that was my first in-person class I've had this semester. Um, and it was nice. Um, so I mentioned in the last segment when I was showing off my cameras, I'm a film and media arts major. Um, basically it's just me it's, i'm just a film major um but uh here at uh my university um we are film and media arts because we have film and media studies majors as well so i'm doing the arts portion it's similar to like environmental studies versus environmental science majors um i only know this because i have a friend of mine who's an environmental science major not an environmental studies major um meaning she um wants to do more hands-on and lab focused classes not um finding out environmental policy and stuff so that's the difference i don't know how that works for film and media um i'm guessing it's pretty much the same um like concept wise i'm doing more actually producing film and classes that like are you would typically see a film major do um that's besides the point <laughs> uh i am taking um climatology this semester um which is that's really fun uh like it's it's not a class um i think a lot of people would expect um film majors to take um, let me tell you why I'm taking it. I'm taking climatology. As a film and media arts major, this is a 400 level environmental science class, climatology. I'm taking this, um, because it's a Q2. A Q2, um, so, uh, at AU, a Q2 is, uh, quantitative literacy. Um, you have to take one, uh, you have to take two of these classes. So I took my first one, uh, my fall semester freshman year so last year i took stats um the lowest level statistics class i could take i you know, I, I i did not do well in the placement exam as i expected <laughs> i am not good at math it's not my strong suit um and i struggled uh in that class a lot um it j and it's just it's not i don't like i don't like math based classes i i don't so i was looking on my, you know, what I have to do to get my degree. And it's like, oh, you need this secondary Q2, this quantitative liter literacy class. You need another one. I'm like, okay, okay. So you're telling me I have to take another math-based class. And they're like, yeah, you do. Um, not exciting. I struggle in math. I don't like math at all. Um, it, it's just very difficult for me to understand, for me to process. So, I was fighting tooth and nail. I was looking for as many classes as I could find that is not math. Because, here's the thing. I can take another statistics class, but the statistics class that qualifies as a Q2, I need to take a, another statistics class before it. So, I took s statistics as my Q1. I'd have to then take another stat class that I just don't need other than the fact that it's a prerequisite to this Q2 class. That means I'm gonna be taking three statistics courses. I already know I'm not good at statistics. I don't like statistics. I barely, barely made it through my stat class the last time I took it. Um, so I didn't want to do that again. I talked to my advisor and here, here, here's my situation hope you understand he does by the way he's really great um i don't want i i'm struggling to find a math-based class that will be engaging but not like horrifically difficult for me um big ask by the way because the purpose is to do math or have math-based things um he i at this point by the way i'd already found the climatology class um, and I had it in my, back of my head. He also suggested, uh, he's like, I know a lot of, um, film and media arts majors also take Introduction to Formal Logic. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll look that up. 
I emailed both professors, got the syllabus, the syllabi for both class. Um, I would have been fine in Introduction to Logic. I would have fallen asleep <laughs> in Introduction to Logic. So, it just, the syllabus was boring. It looked very dry. And I, I like environmental science. I'm taking another environmental science class for a, um, a science like credit because we need a science credit here as well, which is important. I actually applaud the the school for making us take um, all uh, core curriculums because um, to me core curriculum isn't just English as math, English and math. It should be English, math, history, and science and art personally um so i'm taking environmental science i'm taking nature of earth it's my lab class um you know i i i'm taking that this semester and i like environmental environmental science is hands-on you're talking about the earth the ocean uh the world etc um so climatology falls into the environmental science sphere uh I like environmental science. I also like uh, weather and climate. That is a fun fact about me. I I get this from my mom, um, which is why she's excited that I'm taking this class and why I chose to take this class. She is a trained weather spotter. Um, we both have <laughs> extensive weather apps and we both have at least one or two radars on our phone, radar apps. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, so I, you know, I look at the weather a lot, and I find it enjoying. I like watching, I like watching people, uh, storm chase, tornadoes and stuff. So, it's something I knew, it was a class I knew would be engaged in, automatically, just based off the subject matter. The issue was, what about the math? I'm not good at math, as I've said countless times. <laughs> um, and when I emailed my professor, um, she was my professor at the time. She is now. I was like, hey, um, I have the uh, below average equivalent of a high school math education. Not because I didn't receive good math education. I received great math education. I just personally don't understand math. It, And for the speed that we move uh, for a college uh, semester, um, mm -mm. it's not good. I just want to give you a heads up, by the way, before I think about taking this class. Um, and she's like, you know, there's pretty difficult math, but it's not difficult in terms of, it's not like it's calculus, which is what I didn't want to do. I don't want to do calculus. I don't need to learn calculus, personally. So, she explained today, uh, there will be logarithms. <laughs> I don't know what those are. Um, I know it's a math formula. Um, I am good at formulas, and I'm good at looking at graphs and looking at charts and gathering data, which is what this class is primarily designed to do. Um, that's where the math, I'm not even going to put it in air quotes because it's not, it's, that's the math component, components of this class. Graph, graphs, algorithms, um, data gathering, measuring, and then the logarithm equations. And I get to use a calculator. <laughs> So, I feel okay. I feel okay. Because also this, I'm pretty sure, is my only option. So I'm going to have to be okay. But I think it'll be engaging enough. And I'm in safe hands. This class actually is uh, a, a double class. I don't know how to... It's an undergrad and grad class. So, most of us are undergrad students in there. But we have six grad students. Great, by the way. <laughs> they should help they they should be be able to help me also most of the students i think i'm the only student in there that doesn't have environmental science somewhere on their uh degree like list whatever because either you're majoring in environmental science for this class or you're minoring i'm doing neither i am a film and media arts major and i'm going to be minoring uh uh, in American studies, not science at all. <laughs> so that's like kind of 
why I took the class, the, the long version. Short version is bad at math, but the subject matter is interesting, and the professor is, um, seems kind enough to let us um, be bad at math. Um, so, it, it was, it was really, I, I, I paid attention the entire time. I was, I was very engaged in the class, and, um, I know there'll be people there to help me, I know my professor's there to help me. The way she structures the class, she's of the mentality of, you know, I want you to understand the material, so I want you to get the material right. I want you- I'm grading you on accuracy, but I'm not grading you on how many times it takes you to con to get the accuracy. Um, she- she gives us quizzes, but they're take-home and they're open note quizzes, and, um, we have- literally, we can take them as many times as we want. So, for someone who, like, is going to struggle with the math part, um, that's really helpful. And, you know, she has office hours and everything. And, yeah, I'm just really excited. Um, it was fun. It was, it was fun to, like, physically be in a classroom again. I, f I forget how much I hated Zoom class classes um, on Tuesday. I forgot how much I hated Zoom classes. And then I, I remembered again on Tuesday how much I hate Zoom classes. Um, they're just boring. I just don't like them. It's just... It's depressing. It really is. So, it was nice physically being in a classroom today. Um, and I'll do it again tomorrow. And I'll update you guys. Tomorrow. Okay. That's, that's it for today.